with running backs coach Michael Petrie. Coach, good to see you. Uh, last year, we were so excited to see the development of a freshman running back who became one of the best freshmen in the history of the program and Jamar Jefferson. There's no guarantee necessarily in how things play out that the next freshman running back is going to, to be that good or maybe, maybe even better for all we know. But I know whatever may unfold for Teron Madison, you're thrilled to have this young man in the program. Absolutely. He'll be a great addition to the room, more importantly to the program. Unbelievable young man, works hard in the classroom. Football's really important to him, and so we're excited to uh, get to run. What were the, the things that jumped out at you in the recruiting process about him? The first thing is when you see him in person, just his size. He's got a great frame on him, 6'1", 205, 210 pounds, um, and he's barely touched the weight. And so you're, you're excited about his future and what his growth potential is. And like I said, he's a highly competitive kid, loves the game of football, and uh, you know he's been up here a few different times and fell in love with the place. And so you're always looking for guys that want to be here. What kind of style coach does he bring running the football? He's a downhill guy, one cut downhill guy, but also has the ability to make a guy miss and can take and create some big plays with his speed. So, like I said, the thing that I, we loved on uh, on film about him was again, he's a one cut, get downhill, and make uh, make guys have to tackle. So, punishing running style. In your room, uh, running back, you know, we think of running backs just toting the ball, but they so many responsibilities. You've talked about the. You love those players that want to want to be involved in the in the uh, pass pro game and and as a receiver and whatever else that is required of the running back. Do you feel like Tehran will be bringing those kind of qualities as well? We absolutely do. You know, one of the things unique about Tehran is he played multiple positions for his school. So he's played quarterback, he's played receiver, he's played linebacker, he's played safety, obviously played running back. And so with him just having that type of football IQ. Um, we feel like he'll, it should be a great addition for him coming into the room, being able to learn the offense, and then again, just with his physicality that he can bring, like you said, in pass protection, and then in short yardage uh, situations, being able to get downhill. Tell us a little bit about the program that he comes from. It's, it, it's a good one. I know that I've written down over the years in creating depth charts for games, this is a program at Banning that comes up a lot. So it sounds as though he's come from a good program. Absolutely, Banning, you know, cut off the beaten path a little bit, and so you got a, got a ways to go to go out there and find them. Right. Um, but a historic program that's had a lot of really good players come from it, you know, and as you walk around the town, walk around the school, everyone says he's the next great one, you know, and more importantly, not just in terms of football, but as a person, unbelievable student, leader on campus, um, a good teammate, a leader on the field, obviously for his team. And so, again, we think we're getting a really good one in Tehran. That is great to hear. He also aspires to be a business major here at Oregon State. He's looking forward to that from what I read and hear. But he also has, at least at this point in his life, a desire to maybe be an FBI agent someday, which, again, shows somebody thinking not just, you know, about uh, football, but a post-football life already kind of thinking in those terms. Absolutely. You know, I think that was one of the things that uh, drew him towards Oregon State was our Beyond Football program and being able to spend time with Alexis and whatnot and the other people involved in that program and just seeing how much we dive into these guys outside of what we're doing in the classroom or out, out there on the field. And so I think, again, he, he's excited about everything that Oregon State has to offer him as a student athlete. Michael, that, that's important because that came up in a number of, of the biographies that uh, I was reading getting ready for this big day, this early signing period that aspect of the stuff beyond football, mm -hmm. not just football, and that it's, a, uh, it's done in a totality here, isn't it? And that resonated with a lot of your young men who said they liked the academic structure, they liked the support, they liked to get on a career path, you do not in any way minimize those factors as a coach. At all. Yeah. You know, that's what this is all about. Football is just our platform to help these young men and help these families continue to grow. And we take that very serious. And I think in talking and recruiting to Ron, that was one of the things, again, that attracted him to here to Oregon State University was just because of the things that we do. And it's not just lip service. We're actually going out and taking these guys on internships mm -hmm. and seeing what life is beyond just the four or five years they spend here. Mm -hmm. um, 
doing the football stuff. And then obviously when they get up here on their official visit, you know, spend time with Nat and her staff and just how much they dive into that and how detailed they are about their graduation plan, the opportunity to potentially work on a master's while they're here and seeing that we have a great structure and great setup for these guys to be successful is obviously plays a huge role in recruiting. Now it's clear just by the way you articulated all of that, that it's important to you in what you're doing as a recruiter. Final thing, coach, and that is just the running backs room. I mean, Jamar came on and played and played amazingly well as a true freshman. I don't know if you have a specific plan yet for Tehran, but whatever the case with Tehran, what about your running back room on the field when you get back out there again in the spring? How excited you are about that? We're really excited. You know, I felt like we had a young group, and obviously Jamar stepped up and made some big plays throughout the season. Um, but I know a lot of these other guys are eager to get their opportunity to show how they can help this football program turn around. And Tehran is just like that. He'll be up here in January. He's graduating early. And so he'll be able to get himself acclimated, go through all the winter conditioning with Mac and their staff, and then be able to get a spring ball, 15 practices under his belt as well. Excellent. And so that should create and build some good momentum mm -hmm. leading in, obviously, to the summer. But first things first, got to get through winter conditioning. Yeah. And just more important, like I told him, Football will take care of itself. I want you to acclimate yourself as a student here in Corvallis, and we will get into the football stuff. But to me, that's the most important thing when you're having a young man graduate early and uh, become a college student at 17 years old. Wow, excellent. Congratulations, Michael. Thank that, you very much. Thank Appreciate you for the time. time. Uh, running backs coach Michael Petrie.